against poverty and against environmental destruction. Jobs, justice, climate, that's what we want to see at the heart of a new order that will put people first. But I want to say, I want to say to you, thank you. Thank you for who you are standing up for. You're standing up for the 50 million workers that will lose their jobs and join the ranks of the unemployed. You're standing up for the 200 million people who will be forced into poverty to join the ranks of the 1.4 billion people desperately trying to live on less than $2 a day. And you're standing up for our kids and our grandkids who deserve a safe and secure planet. So thank you very much. We've got, we've got a simple message for the G20 leaders. It cannot be business as usual. We want to see action. We want to see a recovery plan that includes the world's poorest nations. A, a plan that's focused on jobs, green jobs, greener jobs, climate action, that investment in the New Deal. And we want to see the world understand that we expect our leaders to stand up for jobs against poverty and to give direction that at Copenhagen later this year, we want that global deal that will put our economies on a, low tr on a transition to a low carbon future. We want to see action. We've got two more messages. The first is to those uh, architects of the fraudulent corporate deal that has sold us a myth that you can leverage profits off debt that has actually uh, continued with people already seeing that, they, that the party is over but wanting to get their last bits and pieces out of the deal. Those bankers who are taking those big bonuses, the CEOs taking their salaries, sacking workers, we know that they still need to get the message and the message is the party is over. It's over. We want a better world, a world where people do come first. Jobs, justice, climate. You're here standing up for a world that we need to see put in place for ourselves, for our children and our grandchildren. So it's over. A new world where people come first. Solidarity. Woo!